Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the GNU Billy Goat, Temple Cummins Board of Choice. This board is available in three sizes, 159, 162, and 164 water. This board features Mervyn's C3 camber profile, which is basically camber 2.0. They say it's camber underfoot with a little micro reverse between the feet, but realistically it's almost flat. It's essentially camber 2.0. It's going to give you a pop and snap like traditional camber. I rode this board at Arapahoe Basin on a sunny bluebird spring day where about one to three inches of snow had fallen. It was like heavier, wetter snow, but it wasn't sticky, which was nice. It was just heavier so it could make push mounts and shit with it. There was little wind and the corduroy was absolutely perfect. And I rode this board with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my K2 Indy bindings. All right, so it looks like a twin, but it's actually a free ride focus board because that's what Temple Cummins rides. What you get is a ever so slightly directional flex, meaning you have a very minuscule, softer section in the nose where it progressively starts to stiffen up all the way back through to the tail with just a little bit of torsional flex. The overall flex of this board is on the stiffer free ride side. Now, that does make for a smooth and stable ride. This is a board for charging hard and plowing through everything in its path. It is damp, yet lively, which is awesome. It's one of those boards that does not feel dead and lifeless. In fact, it's got a lot of life to it. This board has a little snap to it, and it's aggressive to load up. That C3 camber profile, you have to be on top of and really drive into the board to get the rebound out of it. It's a board for hauling ass popping hard. Basically, you're going to be muscling this board to launch anything, but that's what it's designed for. Could I have buttered this board? Probably. Did I? No. Why? Well, it just wasn't going to be fun, so I said fuck it. You have to be a little assertive with this board when you're driving it. You know, you want to be on top of it, really just pushing into that camber profile, getting it to load up that tail to slingshot you out of turns. It's not the most nimble board, but it's not a slouch, you know? You can feel it transitioning from toe to heel. There is a power with it. It is a board for pushing it to the limits. You know, it's just one of those boards that the harder you drive it, the more energy it pushes back into you. It wants to go fast. It wants to steer hard. It wants to just carve aggressively. It's not for the faint of heart, in my opinion. But there will be people that will argue with me in the comments down below. I really don't care. So who's this board for? The hard charging free ride guy that wants camber underfoot and wants something that's damp yet lively. So it's probably been about a decade since I last rode the Billy Goat. And in my opinion, not a lot has changed. I mean, sure, the construction method and the camber profile have, but this is still a free ride charger board. It's a board for someone that's going to charge hard, going to push it, you know, and just wants to be more assertive and aggressive. Comparable boards, the Black Snowboard of Death, the K2 Joy Driver, the Ride Commissioner. This has been my review of the GNU Billy Goat. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the content we've got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you want to see us grow out our content offering as well as our snowboarding network, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I've got a video over there. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.